This video will give you step-by-step -step instruction on how to paint a realistic human eye. Just follow my step-by-step -step instructions and pause the video at the end of each step and you will surprise yourself with the end result. Let's begin. Step 1. Draw the almond shape and the U shape to begin your eye. Please note that I'm using a regular pencil on canvas paper. Many painters prefer to use a charcoal pencil for when they draw their underdrawing, since the charcoal will blend into the paint. Step 2. Add the circle for the iris and then the line for the fold of the eyelid. Step 3. Add the shapes in the corners of the eye. Step 4. Add the eyelashes. Be sure to notice that the eyelashes on the top are more full and longer. Step 5. Add the eyebrow. Notice that it slants downwards towards the inner corner of the eye. Be sure to notice its placement in relation to the eye shape. Now it's time to paint. I chose a simple palette with very common colors such as lamp black, titanium white, ultramarine blue, cadmium red, cadmium yellow, and green earth. For the next section, pause the video every 30 seconds and observe the image on the screen. Also, be sure to listen to the hints that I give you as I narrate. Okay, so, uh, here we go. Uh, I'm using some cadmium red and cadmium yellow first. That's going to give me a nice orange color. And our skin, of course, is not orange, um, unless if we're on Jersey Shore. Um, sorry, Jersey Shore fans. Um, and you can add a little bit of green to that. So the green earth, um, add a little bit um, to that to kind of mute it down. Uh, add some more white and black. See what happens. And you, you should have a nice uh, range of flesh tones uh, at the top. Uh, when I say add white and black to it, you don't want to, like, totally contaminate the color that you just created, but pull it off to the side. You Do your mixing, um, you know, so that you have, like, a little bit of everything. You know, you don't want to mix it all into one color. You want a whole range of colors. So that's your goal with that. Um, I'm working my way from the outside to the inside. I find it easiest to do that. Um, I covered over some of the eyelashes uh, that we drew in, but if you notice, if you look really hard, you could still see the outlines of them. And I'm going to use that information as we go on. So I did a, a kind of a thin layer, um, you know, that I could see through uh, for the first layer of paint. Uh, I'm doing this all in one sitting. Um, you know, sometimes when I do more detailed paintings, um, I'll do additional layers. But this is a nice quick study uh, that we're doing today, so... Um, try to do it in one sitting. It should take you about an hour. It took me about that. Um, that was a color pencil that you saw. Any t any time that you see uh, that you feel that you can't get a straight line, um, you know you can use a colored pencil. Um, I use Prismacolor pencils. There's also another brush with very with um, a very thin but long uh, hair at the tip, um, and that's also great for detail work. I did not have one on hand though today, so I, I used the uh, color pencil. No such thing as cheating in art. You got to be um, smart and able to use uh, any materials uh, that you possibly could get your hands on. And that's my philosophy with things. Okay, so the uh, inside of the eye, uh, if you notice, I added a little bit of the ultramarine blue to that. And the corners of the eye, um, the eye bowl is rounded. Uh, we want to darken that a little bit. And we don't want it to be as separated as it is right now. Um, but you'll see me, uh, I'm going to let the paint dry a little bit, and then I'm going to come back with another layer. This is oil paint, but you could do it with acrylic also. Um, you, you'll find that the acrylic dries a lot faster. Um, I like the drying time of the oil. Um, I said that it would dry within a short period of time. I mean, it doesn't fully dry, but you have the ability to add another layer right on top. Now you can see that it's starting to take shape, uh, but it's still going to take a few more layers to really get those details in there. Um, notice the highlights in the eye. Uh, that should be actually the brightest part. So we, uh, we lowered uh, the 
tone of the color of the whites of the eye, but that reflection right in the middle, right above the iris, that's very important. Uh, there's also a really important highlight um, up above the eye that you can see me going back to. One thing I regret that I didn't do, because um, you see me holding it with my hands, I wish I fastened it down uh, with some tape um, and then cut it. So made it a little bit longer. But this was actually just a small piece of canvas that I found um, you know, in my studio, and I was like, okay, what am I going to use it for? Okay, I'll do a tutorial. And I haven't seen um, a painting video on how, uh, uh, oil painting at least, on how to paint the eye. So I wanted to do that because I know a lot of people are uh, very interested in drawing and painting eyes. You're going to see me rework the eyelashes. Um, if there was one thing I really didn't like, what I did, um, it was the uh, the angle that the eyelashes um, are at right now. It kind of looks like it's straight up. What happens is the eyelashes actually should point back to the uh, bridge of the nose. Uh, not totally, but uh, they should be somewhat at an angle uh, that they do that. And you'll see me get that a little bit later, but um, right now it's not looking too great in terms of the eyelashes. Um, remember that the upper eyelashes are going to be longer than the bottom ones. Um, it's going to be a challenge getting those bottom one in, uh, bottom eyelashes in. Um, you see me right there uh, doing a little bit of a change. I went too long, um, shortening them, and I'm also toning them down uh, with some lighter paint. Just stabbing at it with a round brush. Recommend that you use round brushes for this. Um, I used um, a flat brush to blend everything together, uh, but I use pretty much round brushes uh, of various sizes uh, for this painting. Um, here's a note for you: uh, you want to uh, you want your tones of the painting to be uh, somewhere, I would say, neutral in terms of uh, tone and chroma because you want the green of the eye to pop um, or whatever color you choose. Um, that should be the most colorful part. Um, so you don't want the color to be uh, too bright uh, around it. For instance, that red that I just added, watch how I tone that down because I don't want it to compete with the green. Also, in terms of the, um, the tones that are there, um, you want your highlights to pop. Uh, you want them to like really come out at you. So, um, you know, you want uh, the skin tone to be somewhat grayed down. And when it's neutral, then you could create the highlights right on top. But if it's high in, uh, in tone, you're going to have trouble doing that. Um, some of you might find painting easier than drawing. Um, I, I actually found it to be that. Um, and, you know, I, I actually learned to paint before I learned to draw. So, uh, if you're scared of painting, I recommend that you experiment. It's not as bad as you think. You could always cover over your mistakes. That's the greatest thing about painting. Anyway, I hope that you learned from this video. Thank you, from, uh, thank you for watching.